Hello everyone, and welcome back to Planet Zoo, the Grasslands DLC, where we are currently located somewhere in the grasslands of South America, getting ready to go ahead and take care of a bunch of animals that actually need better homes than living inside of some rich girl's mansion. Um, yeah, we definitely need to make sure that we get more of their animals in our hands and we're able to actually take good care of them. But before I went ahead and uh, looked at our animals for the day, I just wanted to say hello to Wisty Fish. Wisty Fish is one of our amazing patrons. She's so cool. She she can swim like a mermaid, which I think is so awesome. She's a great teacher. And so it hit me. We probably need to have her come and join the zoo because this is one of the first times I've been able to go ahead and have um, like one of our patrons wander around. I really need to make it available for more of our patrons so that people know, hey, if you want to be friends on Steam, then we can go ahead and be Planet Zoo friends. That would be quite fun. All right, putting all those things away, putting all those things away. But yes, oh dear. Wait, what happened here? What do you mean no power? <laughs> Wow. Okay. Well, welcome back, everyone, to our challenge here in the Perm Amaka or Perm Perm Marka Perm Marka. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> The Permamarca Animal Rescue Reserve, where we do have young little maned wolves prancing around. Look at him go, he's so cute. We've got a little bit more research done, thanks to our amazing researchers on what the painted wolves actually might enjoy for like things to play with. So we'll be putting down some toys for Jesse. Whoops, I just realized I spelled Jesse's name wrong. We'll be putting down some toys for Jesse and some of, what happened? Oh, my butterflies are having babies already. Oh, that's so exciting. And also Karina, our main wolf, is actually currently pregnant. She is not going to be having her next litter until uh, February, which seems like a really long time to me. But I think that that will be quite fun. Um, and actually, Karina, that makes me curious. What is the gestation period for maned wolves? I actually have never learned a lot about maned wolves other than they exist and the wolf apple thing. It sounds like she's playing with <laughs> she's playing with her family. But let's check this out. Social needs. In the wild, maned wolves lived in mated groups on large territories, or in mated pairs in large territories. Despite being a mated pair, the wolves remain distant from each other and mostly live independently. For their reproduction, oh, this is interesting. Little is known about the mating and reproduction of maned wolves, and most of the information about their reproductive behavior stems from observation of captive individuals. A mated pair of adult male and females live in a territory up to 12 square miles, but it is unknown how they court to establish a bond. It is likely that the young wolves without a mate track each other via scent. Female maned wolves in uh, are included, uh, are, are induced ovulators. There we, there we go, sorry. I thought they were going to talk about the omnivores with the wolf apples, and I was like, this is a weird place to pivot to that. <clears throat> Female maned wolves are induced ovulators, meaning they only release eggs when a male is nearby. Maned wolves usually breed once a year, at which time the females will be fertile for up to 10 days and mate with her partner several times. After a pregnancy of 63 to 67 days, she gives birth to one to six, one to six cubs! Oh my gosh, and we can have one to five. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. I'm going to need to pull up like the name list from like our last episodes and I'm going to have to get more of you guys in here as our animals. What the heck? Wow, that's going to be a little exciting. Uh, and there's about a year for the interbirth period, which is between the two like litters that she'll have. Um, yes, yes. The mother is mostly responsible for caring for the offspring. While the male may occasionally help feed the cubs, the pair mostly remain distant from each other. The female spends the first four weeks after birth nursing the cubs and only leaves their den for a short period of time to feed herself. A after this period, she begins feeding regurgitated food to the cubs and starts weaning them. At eight to ten weeks old, cubs start eating solid food and accompanying their, money their mother on foraging trips. Maine wolves reach sexual maturity at one year old, which is when they leave their mother, but are unlikely to reproduce until at least two years old. In captivity, breeding maine wolves appear to be more successful than in the wild, and captive males seem to be more involved in raising their offspring than their wild counterparts. <gasps> Whoa! Well, now we have learned quite a bit about the maine wolf that I think is interesting and relevant, and also, sorry it's so hard to see them, you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just tweak things a little. The zoo's gonna 
the, the zoo's going to have a different opening time so we can actually see all the animals. <laughs> oh, we're not playing the Twilight Zoo right now, after all. Where did they all go? Hello? Hello? Oh! Oh, look! There you are! Oh, that's so cute! I didn't even see them sleeping in the grasses! You know what? Let's go ahead and we're going to do a couple things here. One, we are going to get our wonderful Wisty Fish added in as an educator. And hopefully she can teach us about maned wolves. Let's see. Not quite yet. Not yet. Uh, there we go. All right. So we're going to have, um, gosh, like maybe just teacher? Teacher Wisty Fish. There we go. Oh, I'm so happy that she's here. Oh gosh, and we get to start doing like the guided tours and things like that. Oh, that's very exciting. And really getting a lot of people properly upped on the research uh, about the animals and the education about the animals is a really big deal. And I don't think these guys suffer from being shy. Um, let me go ahead. Can I do a window? Yeah, let's do glass. There we go. Can I do one way window? Like, hold up, that would be kind of amazing. One way glass is already here! <gasps> what on earth kind of mechanics do we have? Where is it? 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 Wait a second. Oh, barriers is 100%! Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh, is that for my little shy armadillos? That is the best start to like taking care of one of these zoos that I have ever seen. Like that's usually what we have to just like knuckle down and research as much as possible. Oh dear. All right. And meanwhile, our gulpy machine is not working. Uh, we'll have to get that fixed, but let's put down the educator facility and then let's work on some toys for our maned wolves and then the power situation. You have no idea how proud I am that I remembered that we're dealing with all of those details. All right, so let's put that down. And then let's go ahead and from here to here, do one-way glass. Oh, I'm so happy. This is amazing. Oh my gosh, <gasps> that's gonna end up being the title, isn't it? I love puns, amazing. Come on, that's just so good, you guys. All right, there we go. We already have one-way glass, mm -hmm. that's exciting. Uh, oh, and then actually that's what I'll name the animal talk. Um, uh, Main zing, uh, maned wolves in the grasses. There we go. And let's have the maned wolf. Can we go ahead? Yes, we can throw food to them. That makes me very happy. There's also no power. That doesn't make me very happy. Oh, Karina, you're having your babies. It was just October and now it's suddenly February. I am not getting anything done in time, but I'm trying, guys. Oh, Karina. Okay, okay. I'm pulling up the name list. All right, nobody panic. We're gonna make this happen. We're gonna make this happen. Okay, all right. One to five. Put your bets in the comments right now, guys. I need to know, <gasps> how many do you think she's gonna have? Okay, one. So now we have two young maned wolves running around. Is she done now? Or are we still, oh, only one this time. Interesting. So we have the potential to have a lot more offspring. Uh, current mate is, mate is Dr. Allosaurus, which I love. And where are her offspring? So wait, Camilla, Karina. Oh, here we go. Okay, so she only has one offspring. Wait a second. Ooh, they have a deep, deep bark. Um, Where's the other baby? Jesse? Jesse, you're not related to them? <gasps> I am shocked! I had no idea! Oh, and our old world swallowtails had babies. Like, may they pupate in peace, I suppose. But I, I, I guess we're gonna have to be ready to like rehome Jesse because that's gonna cause a lot of conflict, especially because these guys really like to be on their own if like he is here. Oh, look at everybody, they're so excited. Okay, well, let's work on getting some power over here because otherwise we're never going to get this education system like really working. What? What? What is this? How is anyone supposed to see my emus? Or emus, sorry about that Australians, I'm working on it. 
<laughs> like, they literally installed the windows backwards. I, I, I gotta fix that. There's, I love, to be honest with you guys, I love how much there is to fix. It's very thrilling to me because it's just so gosh darn satisfying when you're able to just tuck into to making things work and making things better for the animals. Games like uh, any any games that require me to go ahead and have to clean up big messes work wonderfully for me. If I wasn't your Siri, I would probably end up being like a maid or something. I, I adore being, well, actually more of a problem solver because I adore being able to help solve problems. Like the fact we had no no power here. I really wish I could move this to maybe be in a slightly more attractive position. A little tricky, a big ask for um, wind turbines, I know, but I'm glad that guests don't really punish you for having wind turbines because they're so happy that you're just doing something good for the environment. All right. Does that have a path linking to it? I don't think it does. Now it does. Okay, I'll accept that. Let me just put down like a, a little little trail. There we go. All right, that works. I like that spot a lot better too. All right, let's fix this ridiculous problem with the emu emus. I'm gonna get there, guys, I promise. Because like, this is just not acceptable. That's just so silly. One way glass, and we're gonna flip where it, it directs. <gasps> That's so much cleaner. If we have one-way glass, like, for- oh yeah, and then the butterfly house. If we have one-way glass, forget this, like, wood nonsense mixed in. What am I doing? Let's go. Like, that's just silly. We're going, like, whole hog over here. Give me that one-way glass. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. It's so clean and nice, and we don't even stress the animals out. It's a victory. All right, we've got like Wistie Fish the teacher roaming about, hopefully going to do amazing. Um, let's actually set for a June, a June talk so that hopefully she'll be able to have a chance to speak with more people. We might even install some seating. I might scooch this if I'm gonna put seating in. Yeah, can still throw food there. So we'll scooch her over and then, oh, we can play music. That's right, when, it's, when there's not a talk here. Manage talks? Yes, yes. Work zone, not in the work zone. Very nice. Uh, and then let's put in... Is there grassland music? I actually thought... I was so confused! I was like, where is an elephant? What just happened to me? And it turns out it was actually just... It was sampling the song. Oh, grassland! So there are new grasslands ones! Grazing the grass field, hop in the hummock, proliferous pampas. Um, is there a grassland? Oh, there's just a grassland playlist we can do. <gasps> That's so cool. Oh my gosh, look at all the people coming. Yes. Oh my gosh, what do these people need? What do they need? They need education and they're thirsty. I'm on it. I'm on it, you guys. I'm on it. We need to be making money here. Like we have to do a lot of our other challenges. Yes, I know. We need to be taking care of our guests in multiple ways. Oh, I still hate that the only thing I can give them is a freaking gulpy soda. Wait a second here. Wait a second. Hold up. What about a cantina? What about that? Oh my word. That would work. Actually, oh, is there anything inside here? There's nothing in this building. It's the perfect where place to go ahead and put a like delicious, like grandma's wonderful fresh tortilla sort of shop. All right, let's do this. Actually, I need to look up like what traditional Brazilian food and things might be. Um, that would actually be a really fun, really fun challenge. Am I? Oh, it doesn't quite fit. Grr, I say. Oh, come on. It would fit. It just doesn't fit right there. Okay, here's the, here's the idea. How much to just do this? How much to to take this whole thing, please? Can I, can I have the whole thing? May I? May I please? You won't let me? What? No, okay. Look, look, look. Okay, this whole, this whole, this whole kitten. Oh, oh man. I can't, I can't select the buildings. 
That's just not fair. That means I'm gonna have to build all of those by hand, doesn't it? Maybe I can sneak up on it. Nope. <laughs> Oh, building that cantina is going to be a little painful. But you know what, guys? Even though it's half of our money, let's make the investment right now. And I feel like it would be best served over next to the main wolves somehow. Ooh, our blue morphos are having babies too. I wonder how long the butterflies live. Because on the one hand, I'm like, oh, wouldn't that be sweet, naming all the butterflies after you guys? And on the other hand, I'm like, would I be just dooming you to, like, the briefest existence? Do you want to adjust? Ugh, I don't really want to get rid of that grassland anyway. Ooh, what if I force people to come over here next to the butterflies? Yes! Okay. A little too enthusiastic about the whole forcing people to walk super far before they can get food and sustenance. But... It's all in the name of a good cause. And as I discovered when we were working on the Twilight Zoo, this, this puppy right here is an absolute game changer. All right, let's see. Vertical snap, flat terrain, active building, highlight hidden barriers. I think this will be okay. Maybe I should put some, I'm gonna put a little bit of a path down there first so that we don't end up just like, and wandering off like and, and like getting very frustrated with how the restaurant system works this is completely a valid use of our time come on guys all right let's see i promise we'll play more with main wolf puppies and the e muse and just a little bit yes victory is mine ha ha okay Oh man, and now I'm gonna need to like cover that up and I need a place for, <laughs> for my workers to rest that's efficient and um, why can I select that? No. I can't select that, but I can select, oh, I can't select that. Ah, I'm gonna have to build all of it. Is there is there actually like a construction thing done for grasslands? Maybe with blueprints? Maybe, blueprints, this grassland? No, <laughs> there's nothing for Crassland Pack. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing for the Grassland Pack. So I'm going to have to daub those walls myself, guys. I'm going to have to daub those walls myself. Um, does this thing have power? Oh, there's no linked tables. Oh yeah. Oh, that's right. This is, look, I thousands of hours of my life well i think actually more like wait i can actually check a second hang on one second guys i have to know now that i started saying that i'm going to be honest and real with all of you 421.5 hours of my life have been dedicated to creating these wonderful adventures here in planet zoo and being an expert zookeeper <clears throat> i totally know what i'm doing and if i don't you know what maybe it's just more fun that way sometimes <laughs> All right, well, let's place some tables down. And we can actually turn this into a beautiful butterfly zone, which I love. And I think we're going to have to be honest with ourselves and scooch all these bushes. Yes, it does wound my heart a little to have to move some of the bushes out of the way. Can I put them on with the emus? Or maybe the wolves? Maybe we'll give the wolves these bushes because I feel like they could use a little bit more cover. There, see? We didn't even waste any any plants. That's that's how eco-friendly we are. All right, come on tables. You guys are not the style that I really want to focus on, but we'll get there. All right, so we'll do a few linked tables. This will actually be really nice because I think what we'll do is we will expand the tables over here too. And then we'll have like a bunch of flowers that will come up against the side that can overlook the butterfly pavilion. I think that would be lovely as well. So we'll move these grasses. It almost looks like it was made to go down here in the E Muse area. So there we go. Oh, I can't wait to spend more time with those guys. Look, people are finally looking at them. They need more donation boxes. Everybody needs more donation boxes. Donation boxes for you. Donation boxes for you. There we go. Donation boxes for you and you. The more people are incentivized to donate, the more I can put additional plants and fun new animals into our <laughs> into our zoo also so i can pay our employees 
I really do care about you, patrons. Don't worry. I'll oh, dear. And I was supposed to give a bathroom to Wistie Fish. <laughs> Is she still meandering around? No, it's Sakura Stallion now. What the heck? That's so cool. All right, Sakura Stallion, I'm going to have to say that maybe this this restaurant is going to be named after you so it's going to be a sakura stallions butterfly uh garden i like that and it has delicious food oh yeah and we also have a, another person we need to come in and name and this is actually going to be pandora another one of our fantastic patrons and don't worry all of you guys in the comments will have a chance to be named after a lot of animals Still feeling conflicted on if I will name you guys after butterflies, but maybe we'll be able to have a lot of people named if we do that. Uh, and this is going to be maybe Butterfly Gardener. Let's see, Gardener Pandora. What a fun name. All right, now we need to add some power or else all of that was completely for naught. All right, wait, is it, isn't it in power? Yes, that should be in power. No, like, oh, pfft. Ah, uh, Siri, for crying out loud. Link thy tables. Confirm link. There. Maybe, oh, look, that got people, like, starting to make stuff. Well, okay, I we're going to work on making that less of an eyesore because apparently I'm not allowed access to just the glorious, already completed architecture that I normally would just love to copy-paste because it would be much easier. No! One of our cloudless sulfurs has died in the butterfly pavilion? This is why I probably shouldn't name you guys after butterflies. How about you become nine banded armadillos instead? How's that work out? <laughs> All right, I think we've been having a good time. I think we definitely need to hire like more people. We need to really focus on being able to get a bit more money. We might make the toilets cost like a nickel. I always think that that's a little evil, but it's all in the name of conservation, right? <laughs> And we will start putting down things that our animals can play with as well because their enrichment is absolutely awful. Also, where'd the baby go? Wait, okay, there's the other adult. Oh my gosh. Emus, you still have messy food. That is not going to do. We are absolutely going to fix that. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Once again, it was delightful chaos. If you guys would like to become one of these wonderful little animals that I swear will be treated better, <laughs> then do just leave a comment down below. I have no idea how you guys would ever find your way back here in the sea that is YouTube again. If only there was some sort of button you could click to do that. But I suppose I'll just have to wish you well on the sea of content, friends, and hope we meet again. But most importantly, stay curious. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.